want to now come to Shailendra Singh, Joint Managing Director of Percept Limited, which has worked with various cricketers in the past. Shailendra, the big figure is 60% wheel IPL is Tamasha Cricket. You at one level have also been associated with the IPL. Is IPL Tamasha Cricket? Sorry, 51%. More than half are saying IPL is Tamasha Cricket. Do you agree with that? Well, Rajdeep, I'm going to just uh, shock you with some information. Uh, yes. I actually did approximately 40 odd games, Rajdeep, uh, while Mr. Dalmia was the president. And at that time, I used to mix up Bollywood and cricketers and have these games. And yes. I was called the Masala Cricket Man. And actually, Mr. Dalmia, uh, you know, stopped me and banned me and said, Shalindra, this is compromising the sport. And I stopped. And then I remember the mandate when uh, Shah Rukh Khan went to Jaipur at just before IPL and uh, the board banned any bo Bollywood actors even close to cricket because they wanted to ma maintain the sanctity of cricket. But within two weeks, Shah Rukh Khan had bought an IPL team through Lalit Modi. So I think what has happened is in all honesty, uh, you know, they started with the concept of actually promoting and propagating cricket on an entertaining platform. But I think the DNA per se has been compromised. There is no sport in IPL anymore. It's just sheer entertainment. And I believe with the whole nation that this is ultimate tamasha of the sport, which I personally believe there is a gentleman's game. Absolutely. Okay. I'm not the slightest doubt. Shailendra Singh, as someone who's been involved in the IPL, is there this pressure? And that's where perhaps part of the problems have come. The pressure to somehow or the other, dare I use the word, sex up the IPL. You know, get in the cheerleaders. Get in uh, a sense that this is not about the sport, but it's about glamour. It's about uh, a lot of money. Do you get a sense that that meant a loss of priorities? A, a, a lack of perspective somewhere and maybe the players have suffered as a result. Maybe they also felt they can get away with it. In, in honest opinion, I, I love that mall example, but uh, you know, in 1990s, content was king and in 2000, packaging is God. So having said that, the consumer is pretty interested in consuming uh, products that entertain him. Now, the, I use the word product for IPL. Right. Now, in, in, its, in its true perspective, I think there is enough space for everything. And one thing that I, IPL has done has grown the space for cricketers and, and increased the fan base, which is fantastic for the country. But one thing we were promised, we were promised a clean contest. We were promised clean cricket. We are watching it on TV and on grounds, hoping that the contest is clean, but it's not clean. And why is it not clean? Because the constitution, Rajdeep, has not been true. The constitution is not transparent. Therefore, Ashishan can believe that he can do what he did. Uh, a, 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 guru, a guru can do what he did to Chennai Super Kings. And a Dhoni today is maybe owning a stake, not realizing that this is a straight on, a straight on issue where he could be influencing the selection of cricketers. These are major issues, but where do they stem from? The fact that we have built an organization called BCCI that has left windows open just not for mosquitoes but for alligators to get in. That's an interesting point Shalendra. you're really on a roll today and tonight it's the what's the way to end cricket's credibility crisis. Final comments you Shalendra Singh first of Percept. Uh, what is your sense? How do you reduce this credibility crisis that the game is facing today? Um, I mean uh, all of India says that cricket is a religion for them and I don't think we as a nation uh, should uh, let anybody abuse this religion. Uh, I truly believe, Rajdeep, that everything in life is top down. And I also believe in, 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 a, in a rule that horses for courses. I, I personally believe that the wrong people are, are doing, doing you know, the, the wrong job. I mean, the, if we had the right people running the IPL, if we had accountability and transparency, I promise you what a robust model, what a sport we have built where the whole, na whole world is consuming it. So I think all three disciplines can survive, but we need a shake-up. Why are politicians so interested? Is it the power, the money? And we must get rid of this word called honorary. For God's sake, it's a professional job to run a sport like this in this country. Let's bring in the pros. And I promise you, all the 90% people who are watching the show who have voted... Are you making a pitch faith, for yourself? It is up to us are to bring back the Are you making a pitch for yourself to head the IPL as no. a professional CEO? <laughs> Rajdeep, I... As much as I'm qualified to do this, even you are qualified, you know you're an athlete yourself. But I love the track you played, a song called Ashaen. Yes. And I think all of India needs to unite. Those 90% respondents need to understand, we're not right. going to give up. We're going to watch the sport, we're going right. to love the sport, but we're going to get the right people in the right places right. and ensure the cricket is back and it's clean.